Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about how to encrypt and decrypt text, how to protect your client data. Now, in this video, we'll talk about encrypt and decrypt file. It means how to protect file. And file can be, you know, text file, Excel file, any type of file you can protect here. Now, to protect files, or encrypt and decrypt file you have to use one activity that is encrypt file and to decrypt that file you have to use decrypt file activity now how can we get that activity for that we have to go to the manage packages go to all packages search for uipath dot cryptography and once you'll get that cryptography you just need to install that one here this package and then once you'll install that you'll able to find that encrypt file and decrypt file you if you search here encrypt file just take this encrypt file and this is same as encrypt text you need to set select your algorithm so we'll go with AES algorithm. Now in the input path, you need to select that file that you want to encrypt. So here I'm going to show you one file, but you can also encrypt multiple files. You, you need to take from the folders and then one by one in the loop, you can encrypt all the file. And also in the same way you can decrypt that. Now here I have this input folder and in this I have two files I am taking text file and the excel file if I open this text file in this I have just written hi this is Maris Pandey UI path encrypt and decrypt file nothing else this is the text now this is the excel file and in this excel file I have some NPI data credit card number name and account number so in this excel file I have this one so I want to encrypt this I want to secure this file so how can I do this what I'm going to do input path browse this go to input and select that text file I want to first encrypt this file let me take one copy of this one so that I can show you that other file that is Excel file so I will select go to input select that Excel files now in the key key will be your secure key that is you can say private key that will help you to encrypt that file with the use of that key so i'm going to pass here abc12 copy this and i'm going to use the same here also to encrypt this file also now in the output file we need to give one location and that file name after encrypting that file what should be that file name so in the encrypt file let me uh, so this is the text file i'm going to encrypt now so in the encrypted folder currently i already have this let me delete this so i'm going to save that with the sample text dot txt right save that so you can see our input will be this and after encryption our output will be same file name but in a th different location different folder now here uh, just click on output go to the encrypted folder and just write here is that excel file name excel sx now click save now we are done now if we we'll run this so you know what will happen it will take this file names as input and it will apply encryption here and then it will save in this folder now what will happen if i'll open this one you will see here we are getting this data in the in the encrypted mode so you will not able to understand what what is the data available in the this file and what is written in that one if you'll open this excel file you see what will happen here if you double click on that and you will see there is one error that excel cannot open that file because of the file format or the file extension is not valid 
or the file has been corrupted right it means now this file has been encrypted with the AES algorithm with the that private key so no one will able to understand that this file is really corrupted or this is encrypted but if you know about this this cryptography you will able to understand that this file is not corrupted this is encrypted with the help of AES algorithm and the specific key now I'm going to decrypt all the file here so that I can show you now let me take here decrypt file let me take one more copy of this now input path now I'm going to take input of from the encrypted file first I will take sample text key I we need to take the same key here otherwise that file will not be decrypted now go to the output path uh, we'll take decrypted folder here and save with the same file name you can also take different file name no issue now here again let me use the same key because I have used same key here also you can change that key also now file from the encrypted folder this excel file open this now in the output our output lo location will be decrypted folder here save with the name excel dot xlsx now save this and now we are good to run this but what I am going to do here I am going to first delete these encrypted files because whenever I will run this again it will go and encrypt this file again if you don't want to delete what you can do in the encrypt click on this activity go to right side in the properties click on override so it will override that right so no need to delete that so you can do like that now just run that one click on run now you'll see here first it will encrypt that file and then it will take the data from this this one file here and then it will go to the decrypted folder and it will decrypt that file let me uh, go to the encrypt here let me open this sample text and this is encrypted right now if I open this decrypted folder file and you'll see here again we have the same data that we had originally right so by this way we can encrypt this file and we can decrypt this using this cryptography activities and by this way you can protect your clients NPI data in that file I hope you like this video if so please like this video and if you have not subscribed my, my channel yet then please subscribe thank you so much guys thank you so much for all your support and please subscribe my channel blue prism rpa if you want to learn blue prism you can go through that channel you can learn there i'm going to put multiple videos on that blue prism rpa thank you so much guys